It's October 16, 2012. As a result of the chatter problems that I was having when I was cutting the outside profile, I decided to do some testing. Unfortunately, because the way the fixture is set up uh, and the fact that I'm in the middle of the parts, I don't have the most ideal setup to run my test in, so I'm actually going to do the uh, test with the, with the stock piggybacked on top of the fixture, which is certainly unusual. Uh, but it's uh, held down pretty rig rigidly. I just don't have much room until I'm out of space to use this uh, uh, clamp here because the material isn't quite long enough. So I made it work. Uh, I decided not to do G-code but instead just sort of punch in parameters manually uh, to see what happened. Uh, a width of cut, depth of cut, etc. Uh, to get a feel for what I'm going to be able to do to avoid the uh, chatter problems that were so extreme. So. I'll uh, punch in some numbers and see what happens. So that's the approach that I'm going to take and uh, I'm going to set up the next cut and go for it. We'll, we use coolant and uh, spindle set manually and see what happens from there. This test will be a width of cut of 10 thousandths. The uh, feed rate is going to be 20 inches per minute and the spindle speed is 1000 RPM approximately. This is a spindle speed of 2000 RPM, a width of cut of 10,000. Let me set that up, I haven't done that yet. width of cut of 10 thousandths, a feed of 20 inches per minute. There we go, we're back into the uh, chatter regime. This is a spindle speed again of 2000 RPM. The depth of cut is 20 thousandths. The feed is 20 inches per minute. This is a you know, the same inch per tooth, but it's a uh, thicker chip. So that's the approach I'm taking here. So using the same feed rate of 20 inches per minute. So after the significant chatter that seemed to be unrelated to uh, the width of cut but was instead related to the spindle speed, what I decided to do was increase the, sorry, I returned to the uh, previous successful parameters and refinished the surface uh, in order to eliminate any surface finish problems that would uh, prevent other cuts from being successful. And now what I've done is I've come back to the 2000 RPM setting and the goal now is to run it at 40 inches a minute. So instead of running 1000 RPM 20 inches a minute, which was successful, and running 2000 RPM at 20 inches a minute, which was unsuccessful, I'm instead running 2000 RPM at 40 inches per minute. So I'm at the same chip load per tooth as I was running on the uh, 1000 RPM setting. Now it should be mentioned that I am getting significant cutter deflection in these uh, passes. I back the tool off in the X direction, 5000 in that direction, and what I find is that the cutter is still engaging as it's uh, as it's coming back to its original position. So I'm getting more than 5,000 cutter deflection over probably the bottom one third of the material. This material is one and a quarter inches thick, and I'm using a full depth of cut. That's one thing I didn't mention at the beginning. So here we go. The good news is, if there's chatter on this operation, it will be for half as long. Here's the cut. Definitely chatter, and uh, one thing I noticed was that the chips were actually flying out of the, the 
chips are actually flying out onto the uh, back of the guard here. So, you can see the chatter. Definitely a different sort of pattern. Let's see if we can get an idea of what it looks like. There we go. So there's a chatter. Uh, but I don't know if I'm just getting into some sort of uh, regime with a tool or a regime, uh, a vibration regime with the uh, machine or not, but it's definitely going to cause some problems. Spindle's running at 1,000 RPM. The width of cut is 20 thousandths of an inch. The feed rate is 20 inches a minute. chips are probably pretty thick and they're a little bit warm too. These are enormous, enormous chips. This is a spindle speed of 1000 RPM, a width of cut of 25 thousandths, a feed rate of 20 inches per minute. All right, one thing I am noticing is that the uh, surface finish quality is uh, getting a little rougher as I go with a, a larger depth of cut. This is a spindle speed of 1,000 RPM, a width of cut of 15 thousandths, and a feed rate of 20 thousandths. Surface finish is still not great, but it's more acceptable. Not what I would call a good finish. This is spindle speed of 1,000 RPM, a width of cut of 20 thousandths, and a feed rate of 10 inches per minute. So I'm lowering the feed rate and running at a higher um, width of cut. These chips are definitely thinner, they're flexible, and uh, the surface finish is much improved. This is a spindle speed of 1,000 RPM, a width of cut of 20 thousandths, and a feed rate of 5 inches per minute. Chips are very thin and they're starting to get more of a curl to them rather than just being sort of a banana shape and more twisted. A little straw. And the surface finish is very smooth. While it's uh, feeding back to its start position at the incredibly fast rate of 5 inches a minute, 
I want to remark on the surface finish. This is a slow finish and I started to hear some uh, sounds of chatter and what I was noticing when I looked at the surface finish that there were some small ripples and a few spots that looked like they were uh, evidence of uh, chatter starting. So I'm actually going to speed it up a little bit to try and get the chip a little thicker and see if that has any impact on it. So I've run a 10. Uh, I didn't get any uh, close-ups of the uh, the surface finish then, although it looked pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to try seven and a half and see if that improves things. Again, I'm running a twenty thousandths width of cut, so that's uh, uh, the chip starts off relatively uh, thick as a result of the width of cut, even though the uh, the chip load per tooth is really low. This is spindle RPM of one thousand a feed rate of 5 inches a minute, a width of cut of 25,000, so I actually increase that. Uh, it's new for this pass, and we'll see how it goes. There's definitely some audible uh, indications of chatter. Might be running a little bit too slow. Even though the chips are thinner, it doesn't look like there's any chip recutting. So the chips are still curling a little bit. So we can get a good look at the surface finish in there. Uh, some of the mo there's actually some more evidence of uh, chatter on that pass. It may be difficult to see with the uh, reflective surfaces, but there's a few ripples in there. So I'm going to back off on the width of cut and uh, increase the feed again to see if getting back up toward 10 inches per minute eliminates that. This is spindle RPM of 1,000, a feed rate of 5 inches a minute, a width of cut of 25,000, so I actually increase that. Uh, it's new for this pass, and we'll see how it goes. There's definitely some audible uh, indications of chatter. Might be running a little bit too slow. Even though the chips are thinner, it doesn't look like there's any chip recutting. So the chips are still curling a little bit. So we can get a good look at the surface finish in there. Uh, some of the mo there's actually some more evidence of uh, chatter on that pass. It may be difficult to see with the uh, reflective surfaces, but there's a few ripples in there. So I'm going to back off on the width of cut and uh, increase the feed again to see if getting back up toward 10 inches per minute eliminates that. This is a cut I've done previously, uh, testing or checking the surface finish on it when I didn't pay careful enough to attention before uh, compared to the 5 inch per minute feed. This is 1000 RPM with a cut of 20 thousandths and a uh, feed rate of 10 inches per minute. There's no audible uh, ringing or chatter coming from the tool on this pass. So I'm thinking it's actually going to be a pretty good surface finish. One final test before I uh, run the numbers on these uh, cuts to see how they turned out. This is an increase of spindle speed. I'm running 1500 RPM 
and I also increased the uh, feed rate to 15 inches per minute. So it should be the same chip load per tooth as the previous cut, which was uh, a spindle speed of 1,000 and feed rate of 10 inches per minute. Uh, the width of cut is the same as before, uh, 20,000. In fact, let me actually put that in because I haven't moved the uh, table yet. So. Uh, we'll see if we get the chatter, and then if that's the case, I'm going to call it the tool being the issue more than anything else. Yep, I'm going to say that's the tool.